see the chat room. I can see the chat room. Excellent. Now, this is just the blokes on this. One? Yes, because I know there was I wrote some wrong versions of some games last time. Plays with keys. I no. no. Well, yeah, actually, I did kind of fail at the uh, IO last time. Two seconds. I thought I heard my front door. Obviously, I didn't. Right, keys. So let's redefine the keys. This is where I secretly find out there are like 900 new ones I didn't know about. Music on or stuff I don't care about. More things I don't care about. prove that you're very generous with your uh, uh, it's probably the only reason I last as long as I do. Oh no you fucking no you mother uh, you call it me anyway. Shit biscuit. <gasps> Basically the game only has four levels, right? And that's it, you get to water bomb and you die. It's kind of like Kong, but you know, Lampras's version of Kong. Except this is good and playable and not shit.
fluke it through for a fuck day anyway. games that gets progressively harder anyway, which is fair enough design, uh, game design, you know, that's a very classic design from the game, but the joy of extra mass storage, I suppose, you do have that extra gap for YOLO graphics change more often than even than in 48k, or even, you know, 128k. I've got a horrible echo of myself in my ears, so it makes me feel like I'm drunk, so I'm just turning it down, and there's no reason to feel like I'm drunk, because I can fix that problem. Fifty hertz at Lambrus's suggestion, and therefore this is, you know, nerfing the game by one sixth, aka spacker mode, aka my mode. Yeah, you're right. This is considerably more beginner friendly. Not much fun, actually. It's it's, it's more fun at the faster speed. I mean, if I get past the water bombs. Uh, at level 4. Is there anything different or is it just the same graphics still? Am I going to see anything shiny and new or just more crucifixion at the hands of bombs and watermelons? New bonuses. Okay. Um, well, I'm sure you'll forgive me because there's a lot of games to test and I'm only going to be doing this for like an hour and a half or so. Because I blistered my thumb last time. Look, like you get insurance comp from Twitch if you hurt your thumb. Is it path to affiliate is really path to insurance comp or something. You're right, by the way, it's a heck of a lot easier on a keyboard. It's a lot, lot easier on a keyboard. Now, I wonder if it'd be easy if I had a, a, a directional arcade stick as opposed to a joypad. It's certainly a, a very arcadey game, so proper arcade controls might make a difference. It's got a really good arcade feel to it, actually. You could easily see this being a, 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 a queen muncher back in the day. I'm sorry, uh, I have to do this to myself. I'm going to die in the dark, aren't I? Yeah, I knew I would, but it's more fun this one. I like dying, is obviously what it is. But it's so cool that we can do that. You know, it's not like back in the day where it's like, screw you, UK, you get the scabby, slow ass Sonic. We don't get that anymore. I mean, it's going to give us grief with HDTVs, as we know, but I think this is a be co better compromise. Well, if only exits made life uh, easy. I'm stuck in here, aren't I? I like that the goal's twinkle. It's cute. I 
supposed to be like the light bulbs in the uh, 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 holes in the ground. The first time I saw them, I was terrified something was going to come out and get me. I'm, I'm reasonably confident, at least up until the level four, that isn't a thing. But I wouldn't trust it to not be a thing. Part level four, all of a sudden, you get extra bloaters climbing out of fucking holes in the ground or something. Which the first thing pops balloons up with his hands, that's quite sinister and evil. Now here we go, instant death time. Let's do a released one. Uh, I didn't play um, uh, Delta Star last time, did I? So let's play some Delta Star this time. As you can probably tell from that, all of these are straight copies of the SD card from uh, Software Amusements. I'll do the credits because I like to do the credits on these things first because it's nice to let people see who did the work. I knew those things, I think I knew those things. I'm 
yeah, there's been a few incremental releases recently, beta and various bits of bombs sitting the repo we're going into cores. I think your best bet is probably to hold fire until all of the current updates that are going on are just tied up together and then they can update all the docs in a runner. It makes life slightly easier for um, uh, any later developers as well if they're not constantly tracking them. I do understand um, why I see something like that being those things can be patterned. It, 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 while it's annoying for folks who want to be developing against it, it's also hellishly annoying to be constantly chasing said moving on. very 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 rough idea where I'm going uh, this is right um, yeah ebooks in the chat he can correct me where I go wrong this is a wee demo he put together that is literally just showing off some of the cool things that uh, you can be doing here on the next obviously this is an official game it's not a real game and considering by the name here you can see on the screen and the IP in the game I suspect statistically this is never likely to be a real game but it's a fun little demo, and there is absolutely nothing wrong with me showing off fan art on my stream, and if anyone has a problem with that, they can bite me in the bell end. Isn't he cute? He's cute as fuck! I love him! This keyboard, this isn't it. Yeah, QAOP space, that's right. He's got a lovely little double jump going on, it's really sweet. And what's really nice here is um. I remember David telling me this is a software tilemap he wrote, and you've got it's really nice. You've got some landscape contouring, so Mickey actually can track the landscape. It's fabulously lovely to be done. Fabulously lovelyly done. Say that after a few beers. Fuck it, can't say it after half a beer. Right, I did learn don't try and use the ladders because when I tried to use the ladders, I got lost and it didn't look like it was working properly. So, but it's so cool. You see, but it's so great. I love it. I mean, it's a shame. Um, I was saying to uh, 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 David that he uh, should uh, just change the IP and do a different game with it because it's so cute. 50 does it need to be playing at 50 hertz? Is it not at 50 hertz? Let's have a look. Oh, okay, no, there we go. We are definitely at 50 hertz now. Whee! It's cute, I love it. Oh! Hey, I don't have a go at the felon because anyone who sees that is like, this is a wee demo that David politely stopped for, for um, for saving his own um, legal, sh shall we say. So, damn right, I wouldn't fix any bugs in it either, but it's so cute, I love it. I'm, I'm saving that for later. Me and the mongoose, that's, that's coming. Let's do packets. I like packets in space. Right, last time I deleted my save file, um, from the start, so I start from the beginning. This time I'm not going to do that. I am going to play the first few levels because I fucking like the game and it's a good way to test it. And then I will do a continue from however far I get and uh, hopefully we'll be able to unlock a new level. This is a exclusive lovely demo that Flash gave me. Uh, it has eight levels in it. Uh, the chances of me ever getting through all eight levels in a one are zero. So continues are a great thing for testing, of course. Um, uh, we'll give it a go, and like I said, the primary purpose here is to be testing things against the um, unreleased 200255 core, just to make sure that I don't trigger any bugs in anyone's games, and uh, we haven't broke any support for anybody. Lampras, we'll, we will um, save the stream to disc, and you can come back later and threaten to hear me punch you in the fucking nose or something, because you're an evil dick with enemy placement. I can't hear any of the games. And that's really annoying. I really like the music for this game. I still don't know my way around yet, so I am going to get lost. But I think I've now played it exactly three times, so I'm alright with that. Maybe four.
Wrong button! Shit, I meant to change this. Yeah, F4. Ugh. Right, we are now at a faster speed and we'll play that again because it was all a bit slow and I do feel that I'm uh, going easy on myself when it's all a bit slow. We like it hard and fast. Wait for David the Microphone Princess to speak. Old man said to to me. It's because he's got those delicate old man ears, that's what it is. It's, it's actually a better game at 60 Hertz again. A lot of these games are better at 60. We really did get a shit version of Sonic, didn't we? If anyone who doesn't know what I mean about the shit version of Sonic, go watch Nostalgia Nerd. And anyone who does know what I mean by the shit version of Sonic, also go watch Nostalgia Nerd because he's good. David is an old man, for those of you who don't know, is a secret. Tough shit, I'm not going to tell you. so twisty and confusing is because, you know, Egyptian tombs and all that sort of shit, right?
know there's the right timing on those later things, but I can never get it. But at least I can get it in the lava this time, so that's a start. games are great, Mike. Don't be so horrible. Either that, or you make us nice easy games for me who are shite. I love this game. I have to say this is possibly the best game in the history of the known world ever. Sorry all of you are up there, but this is the best game in the history of the known world ever. Also because it contains two of my favourite games from my childhood and that's no accident. But I am slightly bad. I was saying to Sarah that I would merrily, merrily, merrily play the 20 with the boss version of this. Even like a, like, you know, the scabbiest, cheapest, cheap DVD, sort of scabby Sunday market photocopy case. A decent box version of this, something that was in like a, you know, remember how PC games used to be back in the day? Um, big, chunky cardboard boxes and all of that sort of stuff. I would pay 35 quid for this game in that sort of box. No bother at all. It's fucking Game. Hey, hey, Jim, didn't know you were there. Honestly, didn't know you were there, mate. Right? <laughs> right, that's a, a, a bombing wall thing, isn't it? With a fucking... Oh, evil design. Whoever did this evil design, by the way, is both a genius and a horrible, horrible person. Um, and I must confess, I was t chatting with Jim and Flash about this game and its level design, and one of the things I have noticed, and one of the things that they confirmed that is in the level design, is that if you die, you brought it on your fucking self. Every death is your fault. There are no mean tricks, there is no hidden traps, or haha fuck we got you, you didn't see that one by one pixel trigger that was the same colour as every other fucking pixel in the map. None of that shit in this game. This game is just an honest to goodness fair game. Now I know we've got Mr. Easy Pants over there saying it's too difficult, but if I die, it's cause I'm shit, not because the game is mean. Well, that's how I feel about it anyway, but I might be biased. Thank you, Jim. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, I, it, as you've seen, various aspects of my wardrobe um, have a, a, a distinct commonality to them. Oh, no, you don't.
Yeah, I do seem to be invulnerable. I don't know why. They also seem to be out of beer. Let's see if I die on this level. I just thought, I'm just epic. I'm just like, that's it. You watch me spin the game up. I even reset it because I had the speed wrong. But yeah, I do seem to... Look, look, let's go for the bees. Come on, bees, come at me. Come at me, motherfuckers. Come at me. Well, this is a great playtest because I am invulnerable for some unknown bug. It's a bug in your build that's fixed in the build after. Oh, okay. That's good enough for me, Flash. I will take the very special D can't die build and never ever... Fuck you, I'm not buying it. This is the version I'm keeping. <sighs> Oh, and hello, Flash. I see you're in the chat as well, obviously. Happy birthday. <laughs> I don't know why I'm bothering to shoot things. It's like, I just gotta, like, Rambo it through now. See all eight levels. It'd be great. Should I do that? Is that, like, a bit of a giveaway on the stream? That's not really fair for other folks, is it? I should stand here invulnerable and wait for an answer. I could probably still suffocate, though, I guess. Back as a shit pilot. <laughs> 16 levels. Yeah, then I would get to. Um, what we will do is I will do a BIS marathon. One Thursday Twitch stream after work. But today I'm going to cycle through lots of games and swear at them all individually. So you all deserve a bit of my wrath piece. So yes, I will... Um, finish this one, because I don't think I've actually I've ever passed this one before, and we'll unlock it. So then next time, we've got another one unlocked for uh, an explore. Bouncy, 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 bouncy. I'm going to stand here until I can blow myself up. It's like I'm just gloating at it now. <laughs> It took, it shows you how shit I am. It took me two levels to work out that I couldn't die. <laughs> Fly around games, not looking at my health indicator or anything, just go wee. I should probably eat some more TNT. I've been spunking it up against the wall, haven't I? It's a hidden level. It's obviously not secrets. It's just announced it. Reveling in the invisibility, that's exactly like, yeah, it's gonna walk around in you know, strutting. It's like, look at me, come and get me, fuck you, fuck you. It's good that you knew it was a bug that the first time that happened, by the way, and all those things went off. I didn't have a microphone. And I'm like, oh, this is a nice, calm level, this isn't so bad. La 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 la, what the fuck? And it was literally, it's like, so it was like, what's happened? It's like, Jesus Christ. That really fucking made me squeal like proper bad the first time that happened. <laughs> Look, see, I'm getting some points for the sake of pointage here. Oh, what I was about to say was before the, the missile cloud was uh, I'm glad that you found the bug and I can just expose something horrible you didn't know. So that's good. Whee! I blew that one up, but I'm steady. Oh, I see. It's, it is the special reviewer's build. Is that, is that, that door not... I can't blow it up. Ooh. Devious feature, yeah. Well, I'm hoping it's left in there with a secret magic code that um, uh, 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 we can activate of, uh, you know, playtesting in the future. I'm guessing that would be this level's idol. Oh no, what is that thing I've just picked up? This is an idol. I'm guessing it's an idol? I don't know. I'm carrying something. Oh, there's the idol down there. I see him. Yes. Well, normally I'd say no fuck that. Oh, <laughs> oh my lord! That's brilliant! <laughs> Oh, that's the key! Ah, that makes sense now. I would have probably 
suss that at some point three or four days from now, but yeah. So, is it me or is he walking quicker now he's got the idol? Yeah, I, know, I read that at the beginning that he able to do different things. I couldn't work out what he did on the first level, I wasn't paying attention. That one makes it look like he walks quickly. Uh, how far I get without it on? Normally I get to about halfway through the second level. And then I die horribly. Yay, Horace! <laughs> this one means you can breathe the air better so it runs out slower. That's cool. Right, I'm not, I've got to say I'll go until I die, but I'm not going to die, am I? Right, what level is this? This was the fourth level, I think we said. I will just sit there and play that game and take my own fun out of it by cheating my way through it. Let's pick another one in development and then we'll play one of the release titles. Um, oh, let's do Pogi because it hurts me. And number two, this is the one with the awesome guitar ridge, right? <laughs> Ugh! <laughs> 
Yeah, see, I'm invincible again. I'm invincible again. I appear to have, like, a bulletproof next today. Go for one of the released titles. I will play Sexy Snakes and Invisible Ladders. For those paying attention, yes, that is the second time I finished my pint. I had some in a can and I refilled my glass. However, I'm now at a beer. So. That might involve me uh, having to go to the kitchen. See, now, I've been playing an awful lot with automated exports out of Photoshop uh, for test graphics to import into Plot It. Uh, there will be no demoing of Plot It today because Plot It. Um, <clears throat> and the biggest thing I find is when you just crank your graphics out of Photoshop, is everything just gets this stippled look that reminds me of the things that we used to do back in graphics in the day. Why well, I move really fast, my green screen goes really shit. Um, back in the day, uh, when we used to do write, writing our graphics for a CRT on purpose. Now, I was never 8-bit, um, I was 16-bit above, so I was playing with CGA and um, very low-resolution VGA graphics. But the idea of getting two colours to blend together on purpose because CRTs work like that, and the dithering, that was a talent, it was something we worked towards. Why the fuck is it happening on my LCD? That is exactly what this graphic has been import exported for. It's been dumped out of something in high graphic. Now, it just feels automated. It's, it's Without sounding mean to Jim, I know Jim's in the chat, it's what I would expect if I took my PSD file and pumped it through a bitmap converter and done no actual effort with Jim's bitmap converter, which is free of charge and available on the site for everyone else to use it. That's the sort of stuff that I was doing in my tutorial game that I um, did a screencast of, not screencast, uh, uh, a hackathon of a few months back, where it's like, get the graphics in Photoshop, get them in as near as 256 colours as I could do possible, and save them out. Now, that was fine for a hackathon, for something I was trying to crack out in 24 hours. But I would have serious fucking guilt if I build for that. I would trouble sleeping at night. Anyway, sexy snakes. There's my sexy snake. Behold my sexy snake. And there's the invisible ladder. Oh wait, there we are. There it is. There's the invisible ladder. What do you mean you can't see the invisible ladder? Of course you can't see the invisible ladder. It's invisible. But there it is, hiding from you. An invisible ladder. I can't decide if that's an artifact of the Photoshop exporty sporty thingy, or if that's intentional. If the ladder is supposed to be uh, like one of those walls that you walk into and it's hidden and stuff. But it does just feel like CBA. But I am going to test all the games that I remember to test and have the time to test and play test them. And plus, I actually bought this game. I want to give it a fair chance, just because I don't like the graphics, that's a personal choice by me. 
I like my graphics to be a little bit more vivid for my stuff, and that's my choice. Not everyone has to agree with me, they're allowed to be wrong. Why does the bullet jump in the air when I die? I don't know. Also, why did I have to press fire three times to continue? Do, do, do. I always forget that's there because it's a trap. I know it's supposed to be a trap, Indiana Jones and all that nonsense, but still. And I've wasted that thing, of course. I shouldn't have got the bullets then, but never mind. I have no way of using my whip now, so I have to use the bullet on the, the, the pygmy person, because even though we have multiple fire buttons, we don't use them. <laughs> Yeah, you yeah, can't actually launch a bullet unless I'm standing on that little ledge, can I? It's I think the animations are scripted or something and your input is locked out while the animation executes. Old school mech anim style. Did he light his face lit up? Look. I'm gonna start moving the controls on camera so you can see when I do things and nothing happens. Because that will be as interesting as the game. Be ready, boys and girls. Be ready to watch me fucking fail to pull the button quick enough again. Slash hard enough again. Well, I am pretty sure, to be fair, a lot of the deaths are my own incompetence. We can live with that. Well, I've done it again. I've picked up the bullets before killing the... Oh, I forgot about this. You can't really easily tell, but that little block to the right of me up there is invisible. And I can't walk through it because the clipping area, as you can tell by his jumping height, is the entire of the tile. It's not mapped to just the... Uh, wooden loggy thing so um, not only can I not fire when I'm in midair but if I f jump below uh, a thin block like that my jump will be impeded and even though it doesn't look like it should be I'm gonna clip it so frequently you've got a lot of that sort of shit going on where you die because you don't realize that you can't jump into something Right, there are spiky things, I can see the spiky things, but the thing is, you come into each screen and look for them, don't you? Because that's how games work, you know. Duck takes... You can't also... By the way, after you landed, it does take a little while that you, before you can duck. You can't just yo-ho-ho duck. No, I'm not doing it. Fuck it. I've decided. Just not going to do it. That looks like it should fall or something. That looks like it should be a trap, and it isn't. Sigh. Nope. Because I'm guessing that does nothing. Yeah, so I thought. Da -da 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 -da. That's a feature, not a bug, right? That you. I'm now a hat. I'm just a hat. So when I fall off the ledge, I'm still just a hat. Okie dokie. One more go? We'll do the rope jumpy bit. Aren't all hats technically dead? Even the ones that are like man made. Is transparent level 2 colour with priority bit a valid thing? Is the pixel under it really visible? Doesn't the layer 2 priority bit just bring you above all the other layers anyway? So if it's transparent bit is set on the priority bit then you're just going to see through it so bringing the transparent above what's behind it I don't get why that'll be different maybe I'm not concentrating properly because I'm playing a game but I don't understand what you're trying to achieve there Pedro mate, sorry aye but if it's transparent how would you bring hello I brought you an invisible thing for you to see above the things and then see through the things and I don't understand it. I, I'm sure you can explain it to me later, Jim, but I don't understand what I, could, what I would use it for. I'm just being dense, probably, as usual. <laughs> oh, look! I can jump into the block. I've forgotten about that, that there is, like... My backside is obviously, you know, 
free for all to enter, as you can see by that brick. I stopped trying to do that. Spoiled by jump and shoot at the same time. And by that I mean every other game ever. Yep. <sighs> you know what? Fuck it. Not many games make me do that. I swear, well, not all the time, obviously, but actually, rage quit. I play a bit of this because it hurts, but I like it. And while you get the funky loading screen, I'm going to get a beer. Because I'm out of beer, and there needs to be beer. That's the official name. Be, the unofficial name would be Fierce and Noble Session IPA. David wouldn't approve. It's only 4.2%. One of those fake beers, as he likes to call it. That's a shitty pour. It's a really lively beer, actually. I opened the tin and went everywhere.
course, that's a... B b yes, that makes sense why you're asking um, what happens if I do stupid and unknown things. Peter, you're writing the test suite. I forgot that you're... that you and, um... Uh, uh, I can't remember. There's someone other person doing it with you, isn't there? Yes. I saw. Good effort. Well done. And useful, um... Uh, from my point of view, if you want to hook me up with said rolling test suite in the future, I can add it to my overnight burn testy things that I will be doing on Twitch for folks who give a fuck. Technical phrase. But yeah, that's that's quite handy. Um, I've mentioned before that if we had uh, a proper set of testing tools, it would be cool to have uh, uh, them all documented and stuff. So I approve. I don't really fuck what the other guys think. I approve of it. It's handy for um, emulators, it's handy for core dev, it's handy for uh, people who are developing games. If I'm, exper I'm, I'm a really shit dev, I'm an atrociously bad dev. Um, I, I develop by the, the touchy-feely method. In other words, keep throwing things at the compiler until something sticks. Uh, and being able to test my code that I think should be working with reduced cases to perform the same example from the point of a uh, first principles experimental code is a really useful thing outside of emulator development. That point still hasn't gone down, that's how fucking fizzy that glass was. Haha, <laughs> we don't talk about things like that in public, Jim. Uh, plot it 0.7 is taking a break right now for me to be doing this because quite frankly um, I'm knackered after doing the physical shit this morning. Uh, I once I've got 0.7 out, 0.7 is the one that has no menu to expose plugins for normal folk. As soon as 0.7 is out, I will be working on 0.7.1, which will be a dev release for me and you, basically, Jim. And that will be the one that has the plugin active loader in it. But um, I did some core testing today, and uh, I must confess, um, much like our dear Kev, last night I kind of got distracted by playing with Secret Source. And that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> you know what I mean, I hope. Uh, yeah, I was playing with it for multi-user friction framework, and I was playing with it for edit it. And there's no one out there who knows what edit it is. So if you're watching and think, "What is edit it?" Well, you've heard of plot it, work it out. Um, yeah. So no, uh, for for multi-user friction framework, Secret Source is amazing, and I can't wait. <laughs> right. Uh, <coughs> Jesus Christ. It's gone cloudy. There are bits of orange floating in it. Oh, well, this is going to be like that bloody cinnamon beer I had at Christmas, isn't it? It's actually quite nice, but it just looks like tramp piss. Right, bag is in space. I'm sorry, what? Time to hurt myself. How far did I get last time? Level 2. Oh, God. I really wasn't concentrating, was I, on Thursday night? Right, let's try again. I was catching up with things that was happening in the core dev stuff overnight. That is, none of that is in this stuff that you're going to see secret here. Uh, none of the demo stuff is. Um, but the things that the guys were talking about, and this is mostly talking to um, people who don't know what they're about and being a dick. Uh, the things that the guys are talking about were absolutely outstanding. Not just for people like Jim and Flash and Kev and Lambrus and the people who are writing hardcore down and dirty assemble of really decent machine code stuff, which is all the things that you're watching here right now. But the stuff that they're talking about is really super duper cool for low sort of uh, simple stuff. You know, anyone who had a specy back in the day and had a plus three. And I've never met a person who had a plus three who didn't do this. You wrote your own loader menus on your floppy disks. So by the time you got around to porting your game, uh, porting your game or uh, 
saving your game back out but you know loading in the manual chunks and modifying the tape loader and all the rest of it and saving them out onto your floppy drive uh, we have kicking about waving at the camera here we have a convenient three inch floppy as a actual usable item not a prop um, but by the time you got round to saving your game onto your floppy disk and you're selecting game you wrote yourself a little menu you know these loader menu plus three and by the time I had like ten discs all filled up with various bits and bobs that I typed in out of input magazine and the PCW book and all the rest of it. Oh, by the way, those of you who don't know what I mean by the PCW book, go and subscribe to the Spectrum show and he's got a nice review of it there. Um, but the, the time to take all this game, you make some little loaders on your discs. And the new stuff that the guys are doing in the core are oh, it's perfect for folks like that, little amateur devs, people who want to play with basic, play with beginner machine go, don't quite have without sounding mean here, to me including as well as others, have the chops for writing themselves a full oh my god, I want to be complicated games, but I'm a basic dev and I want to leverage the power of leverage the power of the machine, but I'm a basic dev. Well the stuff that the guys have been building are so empowering for novice developers. One of the reasons that I love the next, and this is all the things I was saying at Blackpool, so if you've heard me say this before, it meant you bumped into me in Blackpool, and I'm sorry. But I really love the Next because the Next isn't just the Next Spectrum. It's an amazing device for how it's been constructed and what we can do with it. It's very similar to modern game consoles in many regards. The way we can develop games that speak to raw hardware, the way we can speak, develop games that speak through SDKs off device, and you can develop things on your Windows PC using um, things like uh, uh, David's uh, 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 Zedek Basic environment. I can't remember the name of it, David, I'm really sorry. Um, you've got, is it Watkins has got his own language, I think? Um, we've got ZDK for C, we've got the Boreal compiler as well, we've got so many fun off-device things where you can then build our games off-device and then copy on to the next, which is like developing for a modern-day console. So it's great for kickstarting the next generation of bedroom coders, getting people out there who can be youngsters right now developing like you would develop for a real machine, because that's what the Raspberry Pi was supposed to do, but the problem is it's a bare PCB. Um, most parents don't want to give the kids a bare PCB. They make more faff out of building the novelty environment with drag and drop programming, or building the novelty environment for actually getting their games. They, you know, build a laptop out of your Raspberry Pi kit or whatever. The problem is, once you've done that, the kid is still left with Linux. And I'm a Linux fan. I like Linux. I'm a big Linux person. But fuck me, I wouldn't give it to a fucking eight-year-old. I would give them Spectrum Basic. Or many of the other beginner dev tools that we're getting out there. Okay, maybe Spectrum Basic is not the very greatest thing to be giving to an eight-year-old, but I happen to know that there is um, a guy on the Spectrum Next Facebook group. Um, I won't necessarily name him by name, but he wouldn't mind if I did. Uh, and him and his little girl uh, are writing games together on the Specky. And they're not doing it um, all for her. She's not doing everything, but she's steering Daddy's hand and he's teaching her the basic and obviously he's doing the machine code without her and all that sort of stuff. But this is fab, this is exactly what we want from the next level of bedroom coding. And if you put a kid in front of a Linux box and got them doing that with a Raspberry Pi, the issue is it's like you've given them some proprietary game dev doodah that isn't really like the real world of development for games development. If you're developing in Python or something, I mean, yeah, there are game development um, platforms out there that you can use for deploying stuff to Linux. We've got Unity, which is a commercial tool, and you've got things like Game Maker and all the rest of those things which you can deploy to, deploy to Linux and all the cross-platform, and that's fine and dandy, but it's not developing for the Raspberry Pi if you're doing that, is it? It's just wrote a game that goes everywhere, including on the Raspberry Pi. But it's if you're developing for the next, the kid is understanding the concept of targeting a specific thing, or you can't do that. This machine doesn't let you do that. Um, shoot the middle, thank you, Flash. I'm more talking and bullshitting and testing than actually trying to punch the microphone. Now, hurt my hand. Twitch, I'm sure it's calm. My <laughs> PS5. Um, so, let's try this again, shall we? You see how fizzy that is, just even a slow pour and it's like... Woof. So, if you're teaching a kid to program for um, uh, 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 targeting a next and building for a specific platform and teaching kids to develop like that, you've not got the, oh, we don't know if it'll work on this phone or that phone. I mean, uh, I'm not going to call out another next dev, but a next dev who was working on a non-next project. 
um, uh, turned around and made the comment along the lines of, Oh my god, you think it's bad working in the land of PCs? Try targeting Android, Android devices. The diversity of CPUs and GPUs on there. It's such a more console-like and real experience for getting kids into, as opposed to generic bullshit devices. And the fact that yesterday I was playing, um, what game was it? It was this game, it was this game, Fork. And I was sitting back, and I was playing with the pro pad, and I got killed, and I started entering my name into the high school table with the D-pad. Why did I do that? Because it feels like a fucking console. I know full well, just the other side of my LCD monitor right there, there is a dev kit in a specky case with a full keyboard, and more importantly it's attached to a bloody um, PS2 Cherry AMX keyboard in front of me, so I've got a proper keyboard as well, so you can probably tell what a clicky clicky earlier on. I'm not on an emulator, obviously, I'm just using PS2. But, it's... it doesn't feel like that. This feels like... I'm going to say it, and it's going to make some of you smile and some of you cringe. This feels like a 16 bit console. This, I'm sitting here playing this, and this could easily be a SNES title. Quite well, I'm good at colours, but let me that. Nintendo never were very good at colours. <laughs> uh, but this could easily be a SNES game. Um, maybe if you were to stretch a NES as far as you could bend it, it would cry at the seams and not get close. And we know the SNES could definitely do stuff that's more powerful than some sort of Star Wars, but this so feels 16-bit. This, um, uh, Hollow Earth, uh, my, my nemesis of games at the moment, I think, uh, that feels so prop. You can imagine Nintendo shouting about the size of that fucking cartridge if that was on the NES. Pogi may as well have been a, I mean, someone actually thought it was originally a NES title, but it feels like it's still on a Nintendo platform. Um, it's such a lovely machine to be developing on. It's such a versatile machine to be developing on as well. It's, and I'm a novice to that. I, yeah, shoot at the middle and I'm still fucking shit. Uh, uh, it's such a versatile machine to be developing on. It's such a fun machine. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, it saves me getting dragged into it, doesn't it? Uh, it's such a versatile machine to be developing on for its 8 bit, but the mass storage, the way that Gary has done all the work of merging the two APIs. I did Exodus development um, and I tried to do um, plus 3 stuff for um, plus 3E, and it was fine and I liked it, but fundamentally I had to make a decision. What are you going to do? What am I going to write my apps for? So I picked Exodus because it is a higher penetration and an easier barrier to entry. But the fact that when moving to this platform from either of those things, some and tell me what to play. I have a power shot. Mm, we'll remember that for next time. Uh, the fact that, um, uh, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, the fact that you've got um, both those APIs on this machine, and when you come to this from either of those platforms, coming from um, uh, 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 plus three ROMs, which I know a lot of the Spanish developers I'm speaking to uh, are looking forward to, doing, and coming from Exodus, which I know a lot of, um, believe it or not, the Russian developers I've uh, been chatting to are coming, looking forward to. It's lovely that we just have that common platform that makes it so easy to get into this, with all those bedroom aspects as well, for both young and old, Immature and mature, and I mean that both in development sense and like me. Uh, it's so exciting. As you can tell, I can't get enough of the fucking thing. Poke the button. No, not yet. I can't do it. Tell you what. Let's play this thing. And you can all help me. Because I can't work out any logic to this game. It's worse than the blobbing ball game. The blobbing ball game, you have a chance to sit there and analyze and I, I can't even speak, I've only had like two tins. You sit there and analyze it and you get there and you get to think, oh, if I move there and there and that was the pattern of that ball thing and okay, I can kind of see what's going on now. This fucking thing. I don't get it. Are the keys supposed to be obvious? Are the keys... <laughs> Thanks, Flash. Are the keys supposed to be obvious? That's not testing it if I reset it, now is it? Are the keys supposed to be obvious? Are the keys supposed to be... There's a gold key, and there's a green key. Gold keys open door. So sometimes I've got three gold keys, and the door is like, yeah, fuck you. I don't know if there's a pattern to that. Now, I wasn't a super-duper big Attic Attack fan as a youngster. It was too difficult for me. I was seven and shit at it. Um, so, was it the same as that in Attic Attack, is the fundamental point. Is this key here, I now have one key, and by the way, did you see that lag as I picked the key up? I actually saw the light on the SD card flash as well. 
So, this door. That key opened that door. But the door was locked, but I still got one key. I don't... Okay, I'm just going to presume. If I stand here and shoot that door... Okay, no. It lags when you pick things up. I'm sure it didn't do that on Thursday, but it's hard to tell with this game. See, the graphics on this are nice and vivid coloured. The tiles are a decent colour. Okay. Uh? When I shot, it appeared on the right-hand side of the screen, opposite, like, the bullet wrapped around or something. Okay. The more health you take, the redder the water goes in duration, I guess. That's kind of a cute touch. I hadn't noticed that before. Blub, 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 blub. I know I don't have to kill the blobs. I know the blobs are just there to distract me. You don't even get points for them, do you? The game doesn't have points. It has gold. You don't have to be on the doors to pass through them either. I hadn't noticed that bug, but I'm going to presume that's in the game. And Oh, n yep! Fucking spot on, Flash! I see it, yeah! Magic, um... I wish my arse was like that. It now magically got wider and narrow as required. Make getting on the bus a fuck of a lot easier. <laughs> uh, no, I've got full health. I don't need health. Another door that I can't go through? Maybe because I've used one key. Maybe that's how it works. Oh, ho, ho. Yeah, this room's a pointless piece of shit, isn't it? We know that now. So, oops, yes, don't stand on the spiky things. Some doors you can't walk through, like, let me through sideways. Some doors it's arbitrarily weird. He's just stuck, so I'm just going to blast him. <laughs> I hadn't noticed that one. I have noticed that when you walk up to a door and shoot, there, did you see that? The bullet appears on the right hand side. Okay, so I now have a second key, so I presume the second key will let me open a second door. That would be that one. Nope. Fuckity nope to give it its technical name. essential lubrication. I don't care if I die at this point. I've tested the game. Maybe it opens this door. Okay, so, so it's locked from that side, but it's open from that side. State. What be state? How does one make state? Are all the baddies in this game normally frozen? I don't remember that. I seem to have super immune powers today. Let's pick up the shield, because you know. Yeah, see I remember those being secret rooms from last time, just about. There's gold and a thing. The key. So let me go through there, it lets me go through there to get that key. To go there. Go up here. I can imagine once you learn your way around this game, it wouldn't last terrible. Okay, so that does nothing, obviously. So if you see an open flight of stairs and a floor, you'd think that you could go down them, maybe. I don't know, maybe that's just me. Nothing in there, nothing in there, nothing in there. I'm lost, I don't really care where I'm going. start room over here, isn't it? Yeah. Is that a secret room over for me yet? Nope. Sometimes they are, sometimes they aren't. How can you tell? That one. Is that one open for me now? Yes, but I've been in here before, haven't I? Oh, it was spider woke up. Yeah, there was like swords in the middle of the room when I triggered rooms. I'm sure I've seen stuff find in like I'm just trying to die at this point because I'm lost and I don't care. I have five keys. Is that good or bad? See, I just don't know where I'm going and I'm past caring. No surprise. Right, that one works. 
Sometimes I play these games for fun. Sometimes I play these games to test them. Sometimes I play these games because I've been a naughty boy and deserve to be punished. And this is one of those occasions. I've been a naughty boy and deserve to be punished. What is the Y at the end of it for? default left and right keys? Yeah, right. How does one die in this game? You reset it and you start again because I forgot to change the keys and fuck using those gibberish Greek things. Yes, I know I can use page down, but that would involve moving my hand. Sinclair joysticks. Okie dokie. I think we'll refine the keys. Well, that didn't debounce very nicely. Oops. Random retressing keys. Try that again. Jump. Inventory left. Inventory right. Music on and off buttons. I don't care about. Quit game. Uh, apparently I pressed shift, did I? Okay. That'll do. One start. Lots of snakes in next games. Have you noticed how we're using snakes a lot? Do you think the badger feels left out? I like it at 60 hertz, he's cuter. Crab boy, I see you. I think this is probably going to be my last game because I'm getting tired. It's a long day and I've got a lot of beer drinking ahead of me. Might be time for a critical nap or something. But we have to get at least 1% because otherwise old man Seth will beat me up. Oh! Oh, fuck, I missed it. Right, for those of you who missed me playing this last time, here, our friendly rat guarding this rope is affectionately known as, as my mortal enemy, the fucking mongoose. And this guy is the bane of my frickin' existence. I swear that I made, I made up new swear words for this fucking mongoose last time. Lampras says he might take it out of the game because it's a little bit too mean. I think what he actually means is, Dear D, you're shit. Let me give you a hand. I think it should deserve to stay in here because it's actually quite a fun challenge once you've got the knack of it. I fluked that, by the way. I haven't been practicing. That was just fucking lucky. <laughs> uh. But... I really like it. It's so cute. And it's so huge. I mean, I presume the percentage number given at the point that I screw up horribly is accurate. Then I have made it a whole 1% through this game. And that's without me trying to do stuff like collect coins and things. Ooh, okay, can't do it like that. Ah, like that. Okay. One! <laughs> Etc. Ooh, Ooh, that's good. I thought I was going to die horribly. Flip screen adventure puzzlers, I think I've said this before. Flip screen adventure puzzlers where the screen slides over and you're suddenly presented with a whole new set of evil problems, including but not limited to giant fucking spiders and dripping blood, are probably up there with my favourite games for Ha ha ha, I defeated it! Screen slides. You bastard! So, I'm looking forward to swearing lots at this one. Although I was promising that I would end up threatening to mortally wound Lampras based upon my prior experience of the game, I'm feeling better about it today.
So I don't know. I might be going entirely the wrong way. Of course, that's a thing of its own entire. No, that's a thing on its.